Hello everyone, Lawrence Fleming here again. All right, this waiting is difficult. We know it can be any time, but as I said before, when they said there's no rapture, Paul was looking for the rapture and nobody's been raptured yet. So it's still out there. It's just hard waiting. We don't know and we're not gonna know. They may be able to come up with some calculations that give us the second coming. I think that's possible, but the rapture's not. And we're not seeing the, the big signs that we need to be able to pinpoint where we are. We know that they're ready to build the temple, but they're not. We know that they're fighting amongst those that are in control of the Temple Mount and those that are wanting to be in control of the Jews. So we're, we're not there yet. <clears throat> we have Russia, Russia still doing their thing. All the other official agencies still doing their thing, advancing us down the road to perdition. But we're not there yet. So we have to maintain. We have to do what we did before. Stay in the Word and keep getting, I don't want to necessarily say better, but Closer to God would be a better word to say. We can't change the time. The time for the rapture is tied to an event that we don't have control of. So we have to just wait. So let's take a look at the book of James. Now I'm going to read the commentary first and then we're going to read it couple of chapters. He's got some really good points. The faith James described as not just something Christians possess, a belief or a feeling. It also is something we do. It is expressed in choice and in action. Uh, this is true when we initially receive faith. We act on that belief with surrender to Jesus and a decision to follow his commands. You remember that time? We were blindly following. We didn't need to be told how to do it. We were doing it naturally. Like a child can naturally do something that later on inhibitions come in and stop them from doing. We need to be like a child. But faith also involves reoccurring choices and actions. Walking by faith is choosing over and over to obey Christ and to follow his example with every life decision and every conversation. It needs to become a habit. James presented the Christian faith as profoundly practical. Get rid of Filthiness and wickedness, be doers of the word. Faith has no life apart from choices and actions. People with true faith behave in ways that show humility, selflessness, self-control. People with faith are imitators of Jesus. So let's start off with the book of James chapter 1, verse 1. <clears throat> James, a bondservant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ. We hear bondservant all the time. You should know what it means, but if not, it basically means a slave who was let free and chose to go back. To the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings. My brethren, count it all joy when we fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience but let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives it liberally and without reproach. And it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. Well, let not that man suppose he will receive anything of the Lord. 
And we'll go to verse 9. Let the lowly brother glory in his exaltation, but the rich man in his humiliation. Because as a flower in the field, he will pass away. How many rich men have we known throughout history who are no longer here? They're dead. They can't buy anything anymore. And verse 12. Blessed is a man who endures temptation, for when he has been approached, he will receive, approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. Found a useful tool for Satan. He can do the dirty work that God can't, giving us choices that we learn from. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away from his own desire, by his own desires, and enticed. And when desire is conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it's in full, full bloom, brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and comes down from the Father, Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow or turning. He doesn't have favorites. He's consistent. Of his own word, of his own, he will bring you forth by the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. We just need to do what we've grown up to do. We were told to stay in the word, find places to help. One of our fellow campers. We have plenty to do. There's enough evil out there that needs to be turned. You know, we don't have to do it. We just have to present the example of what's good out there, and people will want it. They have no idea what's coming. To quote Jesus on the cross, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. That applies to the world in general. They don't know what they do because there's no one to teach them. So we have to. It's the only way that they're going to get to heaven. We're sinners by birth. It is our nature to sin. We don't know any other way until it's presented to us. I am grateful to those that presented it to me many, many years ago. I know that the pastor that led that group is already with the Lord, as we all will be soon. But we have to make sure that the gates are full of Christians that we helped. You don't have to do it alone. We never did have to do it alone. All we have to do is present the information. The Spirit does the rest. Now, we may be reaching out a hand to somebody and to pull them up, but they're going to reach out a hand and pull somebody else up. That's how we can get everybody into heaven. Everybody helping. Okay. Again, keeping these short so I can keep them uploaded. I'm here until Monday and then I'm moving back to one of my older sites because I got some work to do in town. Won't interfere with this, but I need to be closer. I'm six hours south of there right now. I'm on the Florida-Georgia line, and it's hot down here, so it would be good to go back up north for a little bit. I don't mind being hot, but I'm used to being hot on the coast, so I can go in the water to cool off. The water here is full of alligators. I think I will stay warm. Have a blessed day, everyone. We'll see you next time. i got a little video that I might put in place. I don't know if I can get it cleaned up enough. 
I, I found a, a doe in her fawn. But I was getting a reflection off my window, which I didn't realize until after I viewed it. But anyhow, there was a doe and a fawn here, walking around the opening of the camp, eating. The fawn was real skittish. When the little one saw me, it just bolted out of, out of sight. But I got a little bit of footage. Talk to you later, hopefully in the clouds.